Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today it is Saturday the 14th of October I believe. I am filming on my phone because I actually no longer have a camera which is one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded in so long. Um, but I really just wanted to film like an autumnal cozy vlog. I really miss vlogging so I was like, do you know what, I'm just gonna vlog on my phone and we'll see how it goes. I'm not even too sure if I'm covering like the microphone so you might not even be able to hear me. But yeah, like I said, we will just see how it goes. So I am off today. So I've just done my usual walk to Harley, got absolutely drenched in the rain. I don't know about you guys and where you live but this like autumn so far is so disgusting like i hate to put a downer on it but like it's just constantly rained here and you guys might be thinking oh wow that happens all the time in scotland but no like in previous years like it's been like really a really beautiful autumn like the leaves have actually fallen and have been on the ground and like there's so much color and we've had like dry like cold days but they've been dry whereas recently it's just constantly been like downpours of rain. I know that I heard on the radio that some parts of the north of Scotland had like a month's worth of rain in one day like it's just been crazy so like every day I mean Harley just go out for a walk we get absolutely drenched I literally have to come back home hang my clothes up on the radiator to dry because that's how soaked I get like through my waterproof jacket and stuff like that which just sucks so I'm just longing for like a really nice autumn at least a morning so I can just have like a nice so like fresh crisp walk where like the leaves have actually fallen because there's only like a few leaves on the ground and I'm like normally I can like kick the leaves and walk through like loads of piles of leaves but I don't know it just feels different this year but anyways we're still gonna make it feel autumnal well I have done in the flat anyways I'm gonna show you that in a bit um but for now like today's my only day off this week because I was meant to be off yesterday but I actually picked up some overtime um which I'm happy to do because I don't hate my job which is good and I get to work from home so I, sometimes I'm like oh I want to just get some extra money especially with like Christmas coming up and stuff and because I work from home I literally have my heating on all the time so like energy bills and stuff are so expensive so yeah I picked up some overtime but it does mean that today's my only day off so I need to just like fit everything that I need to get done into today so I'm gonna go and do like some housework and stuff um Harley keeps dropping this like play with me play with me even though I've been playing with him for like an hour straight now and I've taken him out for a walk and everything he's still like got so much energy um but yeah I'm gonna do like all the houseworky bits just out of the way like put on some washes and stuff uh I want to wash my bedding, change my bedding, just do some hoovering and stuff like that. Just do like a proper tidy and then that'll be out of the way and then I can just get on with the day. I just finished doing all of the housework that I had to do today and now I'm absolutely sweating. But I thought I would just show you guys around the flat now that I've decorated it for autumn. I did this like literally the day after I came back from my holiday. I've actually been back home for like a few weeks now, but I just, like I said, I haven't vlogged because I haven't really had any time or had a camera. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you. It's kind of basically the same as last year and the year before, but like every year I just buy like maybe one or two things more. So like I'm gradually just building my collection because when I'm in like TK Maxx or whatever, I always see something else that I like. So yeah, I just pick up an extra bit or two every single year. So starting off in the hall, this is what you see as soon as you come into our flat, which I just love because it just looks so pretty, I think. So I got this wreath, I think maybe last year in Tesco or the year before. They always do similar ones, so you'll still be able to get a similar one. And then this is the little display down below. Honestly, I can't remember where anything is from because some of these things are literally years old. Like I remember having that in my bedroom when I was 16, so it's probably almost 10 years old. I just think it all looks very cute. I love it. I'm pretty sure those things there are from Next. Probably Tesco as well, I think. And then this is literally a Yankee candle, which you can probably still get. Pumpkin pecan pie. Going into the living room, this is like the main place where it is just pumpkin galore. Um, so I got this. This is actually new. Excuse my squeaky floor. I actually love this. This is probably my favorite thing. I've been wanting this for ages. I remember wanting it last year. And, um, like, the place that sold it last year, they were sold out of 
the one that I've seen everywhere but I got the last one in next this year and I just love it it's a pumpkin doorstop and I just think it's the cutest thing ever and then on the coffee table I have this little pumpkin which is from Tesco then my pumpkin cushion TK Maxx and then my like autumnal coloured blanket TK Maxx as well and then this is the main feature here I've got pumpkin fairy lights which I'll just pop on so you guys can see how cute are they is that not just the cutest thing ever and then literally just pumpkins everywhere all of this stuff is again quite old I think next Tesco uh Tesco Tesco this is actually new this one in the center I got this this year um I got that from TK Maxx and then down there I just have a little pumpkin that says hey boo which I think was from like home bargains or something I can't even remember and then I've got this which I got last year at the little autumn market that we went to sadly I won't be able to go to the autumn market this year because obviously I'm in a different job and I now can work weekends so it's on next weekend but I'm working the whole weekend so let's not talk about that I'm so sad um <laughs> Then I've got this little pumpkin, which I think was from b and M. I actually love it. It's so cosy and so cute. I think that is everything in here. Um, but yeah, everything's just mainly on the fireplace. And then, oh, I've got this little tiny pumpkin here. Excuse my washing. You guys just saw my underwear literally hanging there drying, but oh well. Like, do you ever watch anyone else's vlogs and they never have clothes drying anywhere? And I'm like, where, where do you dry your clothes? Whereas no matter where i film or what angle i've always got clothes somewhere drying so it's just reality you're gonna just see my underwear hanging because they've just come out of the washing machine and i need to dry them i've got this tiny little pumpkin which was from hobbycraft last year on my very bare bookshelf guys i got a bookshelf and i realized i don't actually have that many books so i need to fill it up and then going into the bedroom i actually love this excuse the um my bedding really needs ironed. But this is my new bedding, guys. I absolutely love it. I posted this on my Instagram and a few people asked about it because they were like, oh my gosh, I've never seen like such a pretty, like non-typical Halloween bedding, if you get what I mean, because like a lot of Halloween bedding is very like orange or like purple, like very like typical Halloween, which is nice, but it just doesn't go in my bedroom. So when I saw this one in Tesco, I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect because this light pink literally matches the light pink color of my walls, which is just perfect. But yeah, it looked a lot better before I washed it and now it's super creased. Um, and then I got this little cushion, which I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting this to be a lot bigger than it was, but it was my own fault because I didn't measure it when I ordered it online, but I actually think it's super cute. I got this from Very and uh, yeah, it was literally like saying that it was popular and there was only a few left. Do you like the pumpkin? Do you? Do you? Also, Harley is very autumnal. He's got his pumpkin collar on, don't you? But yeah, I love that pumpkin so much. Hello, cutie pie. <laughs> he all sits like a meerkat to get belly strokes. Hello, look at you. Gorgeous boy. Is you a gorgeous boy? I've got quite an autumnal outfit on today, just like color wise. This is like, checked it's sort of like a nice burnt orange but it's not really showing in the camera and then this really cozy like brown jumper thing i don't know it's just really cozy and thick and i just like the color of it i just love autumn fashion like big coats scarves like hats i just love it so much also, I just quickly wanted to show you my new phone case, which I actually got from Coco Pup, which is where I normally get like my dog walking bags and just stuff for Harley. But they actually do really cool things for humans as well as dogs. Um, so I got this phone case, which has pumpkins and flowers, but you can't really see it because my hand's covering it. There we go. You can probably see it better now. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I almost forgot to show you guys the doormat 
Um, I did show it in my previous vlog, I think, when I bought it, but now it's actually looking all dirty because, like I said, it's just been rainy and just mucky and horrible outside. But yeah, it's kind of upside down right now because, I'm sorry, I've got my shoes on because I'm about to take Harley back out. Yeah, I'm just trying to put it so it's the right way around because, like, I put my doormat like that, but I wasn't sure if I should put it so it faces me or if it faces the right way when you come in. Um, but I opted to put it the right way round when you come in. But yeah, it's really cute apart from his beard is literally all dirty now, but oh well. <laughs> I have just drove into town because I need to get a birthday present for my eldest niece and then a birthday present for my nephew. I need to return something at Primark because I bought this skirt that I thought was really nice. It looked so nice on the hanger and then I put it on and it, it just didn't sit right or look right. Or look nice at all when it was on so i need to return that before the like refund exchange policy runs out because you've only got to like a, a certain date um i feel like there's something else i need to do probably just get wrapping paper cards yeah i need to remember that <laughs> Okay, I'm just in the toy shop now. I think I've managed to find something. I got my refund as well in Primark, which is good. Guys, I came to the retail park because I didn't quite manage to get everything that I needed in town. <laughs> Look at me. Can you guys see the rain behind me? You can probably hear it as well. Oh my actual goodness. The worst part was, right? I parked so far away from where I needed to go because I always do because I, you guys know I'm just rubbish at parking. So. I'll just park in like the furthest away point because no one else parks there and um, it was fine because it wasn't raining when I got there and then as soon as I got out after buying wrapping paper it started pouring down with rain so I didn't obviously want the wrapping paper to get ruined because if it got wet it would just rip so I had it under my jacket I was literally like this I had like a pole sticking out of me people must be like what the hell but I think I think I got the wrapping paper back dry and that's the main thing, so oh wow, well, but look at the state of me, I just thought I would film because I'm actually drenched. I cannot wait to get in, and I was gonna say I'll get my pyjamas, it's literally like 2pm, I don't think I'll get my pyjamas yet. I need to go back and wrap everything, but yeah, I'm glad with what I got for their birthdays, and like I managed to get good wrapping paper, I got like Spider-Man wrapping paper, and then um unicorn wrapping paper then I managed to get like a unicorn birthday card and then a spider-man birthday card so it all matches so I'm happy with that. I am back home now but I'm not gonna film myself because I look horrendous. Well I mean you already saw it in the previous clip but yeah this is the card that I got for my nephew and then for my niece and then the wrapping paper. So I'm just gonna wrap up their presents just now and Harley is so excited that I'm home even though I was literally gone for like two hours. <laughs> it is now the evening which means it's my favourite time of the day. I love this time of night just where I can get all cosy like put on the cosy lighting, eat snacks, relax. I just love it especially because I sometimes work evenings so it's nice that on my days off I know that I get to enjoy that favourite time of um the day i've just had a shower and i've popped my udi on so i'm nice and cozy before that i was literally just editing some tiktoks and like doing voiceovers for some tiktok videos so let's put on the fairy lights Ta -da! and now this lamp which i have set to orange because it's got a match the theme of the season and like the room and there we go that looks so much better just so cozy i love it it's not really showing as orange in the camera but it is orange <laughs> this is the book that i'm currently reading i'm actually not too far through it at all um so i can't really give a review on it yet it's called the pumpkin spice cafe and you've probably seen it on tiktok that's where i heard of it and yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the perfect cozy read for this time of the year. I'm excited to properly get into it. So I'm going to read some more of that just now because I want to like, yeah, just, you know, when you get hooked on a book, I haven't got there yet with this. So I want to get to that point. <laughs> 